Hello beautiful souls. I hope you're enjoying these beautiful Lionsgate energies. This video this week is just going to be a follow-up to last week's video on the Lionsgate, but this video is also going to give a lot of information on the 2021 Lionsgate and especially there's a lot of predictive stuff that came in around the next few years. So if you watch the other video, you will remember the painting that went along with it. And uh, that's this painting here. And in this video, I'm going to go into the meaning of this painting as was given to me by, by my guides after I painted it. Now, um, this guy, this lion, just a couple weeks before Lionsgate, he really, the lion spirit really came to me very, very strongly. And it was like, paint me. And so the first one that I painted was this one. And it, it really was really dark, right? This dark lion. And I, I feel felt like, I mean, he's just got this really, really powerful gaze. And it feels a benevolent, but he, he's so, so dark and so, so fierce and intense. Um, and so when I was done with him, I still got this feeling like paint me again and paint me light and in watercolor. So that's what I did. And then that's the painting that I uh, used for the, the previous video. So there is so much symbolism in this painting. So I took a quiet moment and just sat down and asked for the message and just asked about all the aspects of this painting. So I'm going to be sharing all the symbolism of um, kind of what's coming forward here, as well as a message from the lion spirit himself about the general message of the painting. Okay. So the first thing I asked was what was the meaning of the three circles in the painting? And that's these right here, um, where you can see there's the one, two, three circles. And in the middle, there's this white triangle. They told me that the three circles can be understood in multiple ways. And they gave me two ways with a deeper explanation of what the meaning is of that symbol, that the three intersecting circles. And the first is about divine trinity and emergence. So the trinity of, oh, and I'm just going to tell you like word for word what came through. They're saying the trinity of the three circles represents the union of the divine masculine with the divine feminine, out of which rises the divine child. This is Christ consciousness rising, the illumination of the soul. This is a static painting, so not moving, but in actuality, this is a process that it's illustrating, and it is dynamically happening across infinite timelines. It happens within the individual as well as collectively. And where many time timelines converge, the collective emergence of Christ consciousness grows stronger. And that's what's happening at this time. Humanity has reached a collective tipping point where this energy is now being activated en masse on this planet. The consciousness of Gaia herself is experiencing this. The planetary enlightenment is both triggered by and triggering individual enlightenment activations. And it's having a domino effect on the planet. So this effect can be exponential and there's no stopping the rising of the light. However, light will cast shadows. Remember that shadow is merely the absence of light. Think of the sun rising, illuminating the land, yet leaving some areas in shadow. These shadow areas only can be seen because the sun has risen and exposed them. In this way, this alignment event will also trigger large scale shadow events as the shadow side must be fleshed up for transmutation to take place. Know it for what it is and do not lose heart. And I just now just got another download. It's because this is the rising of this, the solar consciousness on the planet. And if you think of the dawn where the shadows are super, super long and they stretch out over the land, right? And as the sun continues to rise, the shadows shrink until it gets to its full apex and there's almost no shadow, right? So because we're at this very, very dawning of this new era, this new age of light, the shadows are going to be really long. So, you know, they're just saying really take heart about this. And it doesn't mean that there's, you know, that the shadow has a lot of power. It just means it's, it's being exposed. 
Okay, so the second meaning here of this divine trinity of, of circles, um, the symbol here, is divine trinity and sacred alignment. The three circles can also be seen to represent the three levels or expressions of divine love as experienced by the human soul. So the first, the topmost circle, represents source itself, universal love, the creator, great spirit, God, the all, whatever you want to call it. The other two circles represent the collective consciousness of humanity and the sovereign individual soul. The supremacy of the top circle signifies that the that divine will must always supersede individual will and collective will. Should the individual through free will put himself in opposition to the divine will, the natural consequences of this action will create pain and suffering such that the individual will eventually be forced to realign with light or perish. Should a collective consciousness through free will be in opposition to divine will, it must choose to realign or to face dissolution and destruction. This is the new paradigm under the love frequencies now entering the planet. That which is not in harmony with divine will will no longer be able to persist on this planet. This will happen naturally through acts of nature as well as the natural evolution of human nature. It will not happen through human judgment. So stay in your heart. Okay, then I asked about the meaning of the inner triangle and that's this convergence of the three triangles, right? And it's very, very bright in this painting. It's like the lightest thing in there, even though it's a little hard to see. I'll bring you a little closer here. Um, and you can see that I, I did use actual gold paint for the, the circles themselves, as well as all the flowing mane. I didn't ask about the flowing mane, but that just feels to me like the energies of the Lion's Gate right now that are so flowing and bright and um, just intensely solar. <laughs> you, I'm sure you're feeling them. Okay, so what they're saying about the inner triangle is this. Gazing at the inner triangle shape, you are seeing the opening of the lion's gate itself, which at this time is penetrating through the veil and available to dr shine directly into our souls. This image thus activates the potential for full alignment between the central sun, our earth earthly sun, and the sun within your own heart the universal, the collective, and the sovereign self in full alignment and unity. Okay, so they're saying this painting itself is an activation and it would be a great meditation piece just on this solar energy and love energy that we're receiving. So if you feel called to spend a little bit more time with it, I do have prints available. I'll put that link below. Okay, so then I asked the meaning of the six rays that are emanating from that central point there. And they are top and bottom and then a kind of a cross X mark. And this gets very into numerology as well as predictions for the next few years. They say we are in a time of activation through the power of three, a catalyzing energy a time of great change on this planet. Six is two times three, the power of three expressed through duality. Six in its positive, natural expression signifies harmony and balance. The power of six will be reflected back threefold over the next six years, culminating in the year 2027, which breaks down to the master number 11. The number 666 is misunderstood as many have chosen through fear, ignorance, or intentional manipulation to focus attention on the shadow side of this numerological vibration. Lift up thine eyes and you will see that the shadow events of 666 only signify a reaction to the brilliance of the rays of light that are now at this time made available to you on the planet and will, will remain available to you henceforth. Choose to focus on the dark and you will remain in the dark as you will have turned your back on the light. But know that light is the true power. Dark is only the absence of light. It has no power of its own. 
All you need to do is turn around, face the light, have the courage to fully open your heart to the magnificence of your own being, a Christed child of God, to understand that this world is truly blessed. And that in that understanding, you will begin to reflect light into the deepest darkness on the planet. The time is coming, dear ones. It is not far from now, so take heart. 666 breaks down into the single digit of nine, the number of completion. The year 2022 is the year of 666, which initiates this process. The year 2025 is a nine year and completes an epic cycle and will be the turning point, perhaps the point of darkest shadow, the point at which the shadow rulers of this planet will be faced to forced to face the roar of the lion. This will not end suffering on this planet, and it will not bring the period of transitory chaos to an end, but clear the way for the beginning of a new order, which will eventually give birth to a new golden age for all humanity. Okay, so finally, I asked just what the general message is of the lion painting, and really tuning into the lion spirit itself here as well. And they say, your heart is the key. There is a magnetic quality to your heart that will draw to you that which you need. Everything comes to you as you need it. When something comes to you which you find unpleasant, release the temptation to curse it. For your soul is sovereign and knows better than you what you need. Instead, find the golden lining, the gift, the pearl within the experience. Meet adversity with gratitude with the direct gaze and fierce heart of a lion. Your greatest asset in times of need is your heart itself. Compassion and courage, when united in one heart, create an alchemy that can banish and or transmute all evil. Okay, so that's it. I know that there's a lot more in this painting and I really, really encourage you if you're feeling additional downloads, please do share them in the comments below because that will help all of us to more fully understand and integrate these energies that we're receiving right now and to make it through these next few years with as much grace and ease as possible. And remember always that we are creating our own reality, right? And that's why they're saying to really kind of focus on the harmony aspect of this whole 666 thing and the gratitude of, you know, there is there is there are gifts here that we're being given, that we are actually birthing something beautiful right now and really keep our focus on that. All right, so with that said, Enjoy your Lion's Gate energies and beyond, and we'll catch you again next time. Remember that you were born to be free.